and welcome. Pine Island, Florida, there has been a serious problem that has threatened the natural landscape of the well-known historic island. The widespread of the fast-growing earleaf acacia tree has invaded the native trees here on the island. With its weak limbs, it also is very dangerous. Without public awareness and support, this tree will continue to invade and will leave this island with an unhealthy, non-native ecosystem. My family and I are residents of St. James City, located in Pine Island, Florida. We live on a rural neighborhood in an acre of land. My husband and I know all too well what it is like to keep our property acacia free. We've worked closely with Mr. Ed Chapain, Chief Ranger of the Calusa Land Trust. He helped us make that a reality. He also shared some tips and tools to make it easier for local landowners to control this green monster. To make change with this ever-growing problem, we must understand the yearly acacia tree and how it grows. We need to understand why it's a threat, create public awareness and support. That way we can control it and work with local and state organizations to help preserve our lands. First, I'm gonna describe the yearly acacia. Second, I'm going to examine exactly how it is a threat. And third, I'm going to discuss how you can be informed to get local resources that you need to help with this tree. The earleaf acacia. Let's talk about why it is here and let's understand it. The earleaf acacia is native to Australia, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia. That is according to the FloridaNature.com website. It can reach heights from 40 to 90 feet and spread 25 feet. It grows, this is crazy, six to eight feet per year. The earleaf acacia was brought here to South Florida in the 1930s as an ornamental plant. That, that is according to the Florida is the Exotic Plant Pest Council. Its seeds drop and self-sow, creating a new tree. Today I brought an example of the earleaf acacia. You can identify it on your property. It kind of has like a banana shaped leaf. And also these are the seeds. There are these little curly things. They drop on the ground, self seed by drilling a little hole into the ground and a new tree grows. With its rapid growth and ability to self seed and spread, this tree is an ecological threat to all of South Florida. There are two different categories of invasive exotic plant species, category one and category two. Category one causes ecological damage. Category two does not. The earleaf acacia is in category one and it is causing ecological damage. Not only is this species hazardous to our lands, but also growing near structures of, and buildings. Leaf limbs cannot withstand high winds and Pine Island being a barrier island, that certainly is an issue. Six months ago, I called Lee County Electric Cooperative to help control these trees and have them cut away from a power line that runs parallel to our easement. Instead of removing it, they trimmed it. They are also following the same method along Stringfellow Road, a 16-mile stretch of road here on Pine Island. Obviously, awareness would have helped in this situation. Trimming only makes it worse, and it causes the tree to thrive. Prevention and management strategies say do not plant, remove the root system, and destroy its seeds. Now that we understand the magnitude of the problem, we can sympathize with Pine Islanders and see how they may be overwhelmed. After speaking with Greg McDonald, who is chairperson of the Florida Exotic Plant Council, I was able to confirm that there was no management plan in place. He stated that the wheels are in motion though to create one. I asked him specifically how Pine Island residents can receive support. He provided some different organizations that may be of assistance. The Pine Island Invasive Plant Control Program, he suggested, I will provide you with their website. Also, you can call the Lee County Extension Service and be involved with the Earleaf Acacia Control Program that is here on the island. And thirdly, 
you can also get in contact with Mr. Ed Chapain. Again, he is the chief ranger of the Calusa Land Trust here on the island. Now, for a review, again, we need to understand the earleaf acacia tree, why it is a threat, know how you can get support and control these species for you and also the other Pine Island residents. All of us on Pine Island are here living for mostly the same reason, its beauty and its nature. It is our duty as Pine Island residents to protect and our land and keep celebrating its historical and majestic landscape. We can do this by being involved with organizations and creating awareness amongst our neighbors. Make sure to pick up the provided handouts for your local support and resources. Thank you for being here today. It was a pleasure.